I hear congratulations are in order. What? The engagement. Our very own Seattle Grace wedding. I couldn't be happier for the both of you. Thank you, sir. Did you have an assignment for me? Dresses. I'm sorry? Stevens has transformed her room into a bridal boutique. So go. Try on dresses. That's an order. I didn't think you wanted to wear a wedding dress. I don't. How does he even know we're engaged? Richard's my friend. He's not the one that ordered the dress. If you don't want to wear a wedding dress, talk to Izzy. Oh, yeah. As the chemo drips into her cancery arm, and she looks at me with those cancery eyes. Those cancery, wedding loving eyes. Be strong. We will have bridesmaids in pink taffeta, and you will be wearing a top hat and a morning coat, and somebody will be singing Wind Beneath My Freaking Wings. You want me to talk to her? Apparently, a morning coat is non-negotiable. Also, we have to make time for ballroom dancing lessons. If I show you the dress, you can never tell anyone, because it's bad. Really, really bad. Okay, fine. It will be our little secret. Isn't there a tiara that goes along with it? Uh, oh, put it put it on so I can get the full effect. No, no, no tiara. I, I told you simple. It's, you know, buffalo wings at the reception. You can't have buffalo wings. Caterers don't even do buffalo wings. Is this is a small wedding. Small. And this is a big dress for a big wedding. Don't you have a dress in your pile that doesn't make noise when it moves or stand up all by itself? You're getting married. It's a miracle. Meredith Grey, child of darkness, has found someone. Don't you want to celebrate that? It's your day, Meredith. You can't just piss it away on a stupid slip dress and a cheese tray from the grocery store. <sighs> that will just make me so sad, and I don't want to be sad because I'm already suffering through cancer, and that's sad enough. Fine. Give me the tiara. Can I get a cheeseburger you order from Joe's? Are you sure about this? You're really okay. I feel nauseous. Well, I feel good. I feel fine. See? Hi. Mm. Oh, French fries. God, I love French fries. Meredith, let's go. I feel like this dress is giving me a mammogram. Squishing my boobs. Let me see it. I'm taking it off. <laughs> Is you okay? I didn't just show Izzy. Let's hit her with oxygen. Izzy, Izzy, speak to me. Can you say something? Izzy? Oh, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, you gotta stop doing that because it's not funny. Got Meredith out of the bathroom so I can see her in her dress and it's gorgeous. Tell her she has to stop. Izzy. It's very romantic. It's pretty, right? Really? And I see you've invited more people to witness my humiliation. No, Derek and Mark still aren't speaking to each other and we're heading into a six-hour surgery. So unless I can slip this cheeseburger into a sterile area, I'm not going to make it. Can you please come and talk to them? Fine. Okay, you can go. Christina, will you help her take the dress off? That no matter how sick our patients get, you make a beautiful bride. There's hope for them. Chicken. Yeah, yeah it's chicken. chicken. I know it's chicken. I want to know what it tastes like. It tastes like chicken. I'm having surgery today. Maybe if the meds are shrunk. I am maybe having surgery today, and as such, I cannot taste the chicken for myself. So I really need you guys to tell me what it tastes like. I need to nail down this dinner so I can announce it on Meredith and Derek's wedding website. There's a website. So can you please be a little more articulate than just chicken? <gasps> Yay! Very dapper, Dr. Shepard. You're serious about this? It's not some cruel joke. 
and you look fantastic. He looks fantastic, right? Well, oh, yeah. whatever. Remember when we were little and we would accidentally bite a kid on the playground? Well, yeah. good luck with this kid. Go chicken.